one revolution. Look, Marklins, on standby. Log online. Sam page loaded and ready. Player stats loaded. Health check. Go. Weapons check. Ice check. Complete. We have launch for the informant podcast in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to the Informant Podcast. I'm Pistol Pete from Spockholm. Tonight, I have back with me, Jenna, make death by Gucci, and Jennifer, the Mafia Wars, Luke A.D. What's going on? It's late. <laughs> Pete's delirious, I'm, 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 late at yeah. night. Slap happy. Uh-huh. Yes, we're running late because we just had a conversation with Singa. Yes, we did. Yep. That's what we're going to call it. Yep. Well, that's, that's, that's what it is. I got to it late. Had baseball tonight. We won. Yee-haw! Woo-hoo! 9-6. <laughs> well, that's good. Yep. 9-5. Excuse me. It was 9-5. Nice. I love baseball season. Yep. So, what... What? I, uh, <laughs> it seems like we just keep repeating the same thing over and over again. I know, and that's how I've been feeling on my blog. I keep doing the same thing over and over well, they need to change they copy something. It's the definition of insanity, to... doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Exactly. We we're... are insane to keep thinking that we're going to change anything, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. True. <sighs> God, help me. But and we did just, change the recording the, time of the show. The, so The numbers go down and down and down. Every time you check those um, daily active user numbers, they're lower. Yeah. What are they up to? I, I I never know. I never look for them unless I ask you. Uh, well, I did put a link on my blog in the popular links that will take you right to the page. And oh, currently, okay. there are 430,000 daily players. Now, keep in mind, these are hugely overly inflated numbers. And many, right? Right. But when I started writing my blog, you know, two years ago, there were over, you know, 20 million monthly. Yeah. There was like seven, sometimes it got up to 10 million, like the days when Vegas was launched. Gosh, so, I didn't realize you know, it was that low. that's when it was fun. Right. And I don't understand why they, like, wow, we had this great product. Why are we losing it? And let's ask people what we could do to change it. And okay, well, we tell them and they keep doing the same thing over and over. Event fatigue. We've been complaining about that for how long? Mm-hmm. And then last night was another one of those nights where you're just like, OMG. Well, luckily I went to bed last night. <laughs> I didn't see that. Like, I was just like, are you kidding me? And people are confused. Or there's Like, now you have extreme missions, London missions, the limited time mission. Oh, let's throw a secret district in there. Oh, yeah, we got Mafia Poker, a gifting events going on. You don't even know what gifts to accept. You don't know where to spend your energy, not to mention everyone's still working on London districts four through six if they're not super Pete. So that's where all the fun went. It became a job. It's a task. And then, you know, I want to be in a family. So in order to do that, I need to get 150 ISIS on top of all this other bullshit. I'm tired of it. I think a lot of people are. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know, I, and now the, the big to do is ever since they made that blog post about scripts is, you know, what's safe, what's not. Well, they say nothing's safe, but they're, you know, we don't know what they're doing on that front, but we know they want to change that in you know, someone did make a good point that, you know, make the game so there's not a need for all the script use. Right. I agree with that completely. Well, and unfortunately, that's never been the case since day one. I mean, Bobby Hartrate and Vern, uh, Vern Hart wouldn't have never, never would have actually started creating scripts for Mafia Wars if there wasn't so much redundancy and tediousness to the game itself. But what made it what it was and what it is and what it still has potential to be is the human interaction that occurs outside the game. And it, I feel what's happening is that the event fatigue, the, you know, the assault, you know, if you will, on the community that, you know, you're all bad. You know, we're going to stop you now from doing whatever it is you've been doing, that you've been doing basically the same thing since you started playing, that now all of a sudden, you know... Uh, it's it's taking a different tone with players that they're just saying, look, if you're going to, you know, basically stop me from playing the game I've played since day one, 
then why am I bothering to be here? And people are learning more and more that, you know, it's time to walk away. And, uh, you know, it's it's heartbreaking, I guess, if you will. You know, you, we've grown accustomed to playing this game every day, doing the mundane tasks that are in the thing. But now it's gotten to be so much, you know. And people are finding there is life after you know, Mafia Wars. Oh, absolutely. You know, and you, you ask yourself, why in the world would Zynga release 20 freaking properties in New York? What oh, and we found another one in the server. Okay, 21. Are you kidding? Ridiculous <laughs> yeah. properties. Make it stop. So, okay, you know, okay, so it creates spam. You, you're telling me that there's not other ways to generate spam. You know, if what else does it do? Is it create interaction between players? Well, you got to realize that some of the interactions between players are not, can't be, and shouldn't be compared to other Zynga stable games. You know, this is not the same kind of game. Learn your game. God, learn what people have done and how they played this game. You killed the trading community. You know, and granted, yes, I know there were things going on in the black market, but you know what? That could have been resolved too, because Zynga could have released their own black market, allowed traders, you know, and whatever else to still work within the confines of the game, and they would have then solved that problem, but they chose not to. You have, you know? to, you have to focus on what hooked people in the first place. Yeah. What I, What made me spend so much time doing this? You know, and now and, there's so little to be traded that why bother? Yeah, they, they could make nothing giftable and it wouldn't change the way it is today. Right. Because the stuff that is giftable is not helpful to anyone. And the only reason people really gift now is to get the crap out of their inventory if they're OCD about that. Right. Are there more people like that than you? Well, I know I'd be oh, gifting away some of these 5,001 of these uh, these 30,000 <laughs> loot items I've got that I can't do anything VIP. with. <laughs> oh my gosh, do you have that many? Uh, For probably the first now 40. Oh, yeah, but... Right, and then they want us to pay every month to do all this. Like, I feel like there's something not right with me for putting up with it so much. Like, why can't I walk away like so many of my friends have done? Well, you know what I'm finding is that I've been obviously spending less time playing. And when I do have a chance to sit down and play, I'm having a lot more fun than I was before I gave myself the permission to quit making a job out of this. Mm -hmm. And when I went back to remembering, oh, this is just a game, you know, it's okay if you don't finish this or finish that. It's okay. And it, and I don't know. I I was just as obsessed all the time, but for some reason I'm having more fun now playing when I can. Right. And I don't know, you know, how to tell anybody to duplicate that, but for me, it's been st stepping back a little bit and appreciating the time I can spend. Well, it, it usually takes the first baby step of you you miss the one thing, and yep. then it's a slippery Building slope, something if you will, that you didn't well, you weren't able to build up a property because you didn't yep. force yourself to be committed to you know posting th three times a day on a schedule perfect down to the minute, you know, and you eventually just say, you know what. I missed that one. Guess what? I'm going to miss the next one. But unfortunately, like we've talked about before, that's that's a slippery slope for Zynga because the more people that just start saying, eh, I missed that one. I'll miss the next thing. Eventually, no I won't log in. Eventually, no one will come back to the game. Or they won't spend money to finish it because they don't care anymore. That's right. Or they could, you know, have fun and spend some money because they want to finish it and they know they don't have time. Yeah. So, I mean, it could, you know, obviously with different personalities – the, but, well, the people that play this game, I mean, let's be realistic. All of us are OCD in some way on getting things done. You know, want to finish what we set out to do within this game. And the fact that we can't do it basically eats at our moral fabric. And then just, we decide at that point that it's not worth it anymore. Right. It's a deep philosophical feeling to have your guts ripped out from you that you can't do something and finish it anymore. <laughs> and you have no recourse to do it either. Other than call customer support. So guess what I'm doing? <laughs> oh, yeah, because yeah, I've got a real beef, too. i got to tell you this one. This one infuriated <laughs> the hell out of me. Okay. It's hilarious. So nothing new going on in Spockholm. I'll get that out of the way. But Zynga releases this new secret district, right? And they have these deck of cards. Guess what most people probably thought, like me, and if they didn't, then I'm the only oddball out there, that a deck of cards being released at the same time that a new poker season comes out means that we could actually get a deck of cards that would actually give us 52 cards for our poker season. I'm thinking, awesome. Perfect. 
and then I come to find out that it's just only a consumable to be used in the stupid secret district, I was livid. <laughs> See, I if you would read happy. before you played, you would have known all that. <laughs> but I shouldn't have had to, and you shouldn't release a deck of cards at the same exact time as a poker season that, you know, we used to have racks of chips that got converted into single chips. True. So it's not a, not this kind of, you know, and I know that's going back a long ways. For those that don't know where I'm coming from, that's Vegas. But, you know, there's that's been there for a long time. So this idea of having this <laughs> one thing convert into something else just seem reasonable. And you so thought he, they finally simple, simplified it. Well, yeah. Why can't I gift a, a whole freaking set of, what do you call it? If I give that up as my daily gift item, you know, awesome. Give us 10 of those a day. I'm talking about it now. Add it up. Yeah, it would make it a lot easier because now we're forced to decide, do you want to excel in Mafia Wars poker or do you want to do the foolproof gift mastery event or do you want to collect one of these special mystery bags that got prematurely converted Choices. to some sombrero bags oh, yeah. for Cinco de Mayo, even though it was like May 10th. <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit late. <laughs> it was like May 9th. Well, what happened is we got, finally, after a month, we got those feline mystery bags. Right. And two days later, they converted to these things called sombrero mystery bags. And they were still active if you had been sent them in less than 20, 48 yeah, hours. I got, I, I was able to use them. Yeah, the people that had accepted all their feline bags weren't so lucky unless they were able to keep them in the ZMC for, till the next day. What a mess. <laughs> Typical. Yeah. But yeah, when I signed in today, I couldn't believe how much was going on at one time. Oh my God. I'm surprised I got it all on my blog. And I had went out, I had like waited for midnight to post like the point that we get from the fan page. Uh -huh. And then I was going out and I was like, what, what? And so I got, you know, I just made little summary posts of what I had time to do. And then when I was out, I looked at my phone and I'm like, are they crazy? <laughs> you didn't come home, did you? Well, no, I didn't come home for that. But when I okay. got home, um, you know, thank goodness I was drinking Red Bull. I got home and I spent so much time like making all these posts. And it was like, you know, why am I doing the same with the game? Like, well, why am I putting all this effort and staying awake longer than I should? And, you know, I stayed up till like 10 in the morning. And then today, you know, we have the conference call with them. And it's just like, am I supposed to spend every waking minute of my life doing things for Mafia Wars, which is supposed to be a game that I play? Mafia Wars would love that. Yeah. And it's, you know, it makes me question it all. But then it, all this stuff comes out, and then you get a few days of nothing much to do, and then it just seems to be cyclic like that now. Mm -hmm. Where Very you get hit really hard, then nothing, and then... Where if they space this stuff out, it would benefit them, too, because, you know, we could spend this whole show talking about how great the Secret District is. It's not really great, and I'll get into that. <laughs> but we could devote our time to a specific event and make people want to do it. And now it just gets thrown in with a list of 10 other things, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and same with the blog post. I'm not going to put as much detail into something if I have 10 other things to write about, like who cares where if they would space that out and do one thing a week rather than more, it would just make the game more enjoyable and you'd have something to look forward to. I agree. You know, and we have three days left of this property, and there's going to be a lot of pissed off people because the way it was set up was not possible to do in the time allotted. And you were telling them that from the beginning. I was hoping mm -hmm. they would listen to you. Well, I really think they need to extend it by at least a week. Did you, did you finish yours? Um, yes. I'm not proud of how I finished it. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. I won't ask. Well, I'm you know. up to a level nine. You know, I probably will get to, there's three days left, two days after. Yeah, whatever. There yep. I go. I'm on that slippery slope. You're on the slippery and then the, slope. <laughs> the new, I can't figure out what the new one looks like. It really looks like a racetrack. But we searched for all the names like that and that nothing showed up. Hmm. So I guess we'll just wait. But really, the overall consensus was, okay, there's no more room on the page 
are they going to be done? Everyone was kind of excited about the Arctic base because it filled that last spot, the OCD spot. <laughs> and um, 